so <laughs> cute, <laughs> small, cute. <Yeah. laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be like a day in my life vlog. So it's Monday, it's Labor Day. I need to clean up my apartment, finish kind of decorating my apartment, not finish. I st it's like, I still have like a few items I need to buy or a few items I'm waiting on to get here. If you hear background noise, it's the dryer going. I already started cleaning up yesterday. So wash clothes, dry clothes, finish doing that today. Wash my sheets today. Um, What else? I need to go grocery shopping. I need to, I want to show you guys like some stuff I bought from Sephora too. So yeah, just like a day in my life vlog, take you guys a few places with me. So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will go ahead and get out of my bed and start my day. Okay, so first thing I want to show you guys, I need to clean up my bathroom. So I need to wash my makeup brushes. I was looking for the I need to wash my makeup brushes, but also I want to show you guys like the stuff I bought. So... I don't know if all this is even from Sephora. Whatever. So I bought this perfume, Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. Um, is that how you say it? Killian? Y'all no, know I can't talk about it. So I bought this. It smells really good. Like I got a sample of it from like, I don't know, one of those stores. And then I went and I ordered it from Sephora online. So this is from Sephora. How much it was. I'll put the links down below. I'll let you guys see. But yeah, so I bought this. Smells really good. I haven't even opened it yet. I don't know why not. But yeah, I still have my sample. That's why. So I have this. Also, I had got this like Anastasia powder a long, not like a long time ago. Um, well, probably yeah. Like, I got it before I moved here, but I just started using it. Like I've only used it twice. And I like this too. I like this. I kind of low-key like this over the Laura Mercier powder because the Laura Mercier powder, if you use it too much, it can make your face look kind of ashy at the beginning. So I got this a while ago. I wanted to show you guys that. I just bought this, like airbrush bronzer, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I don't know what I did with the box. I'm only using it once. I used it yesterday. Um, I definitely think I like this better than the Fenty bronzers. I hate to say it, but it's not that the consistency or anything is wrong with the Fenty bronzers. I just think it's not the right color for my skin. Let me show y'all the ones I have from Fenty. So this is shade 3, 10 from the Charlotte Tilbury. And then like, I don't know. This is a Caramel Cutie one from Fenty. So like, I, I hope I'm putting the camera, just open the camera right. But like, I don't know how to explain it. So I use this one, but then I also have the Beijing guy. Again, I don't know how to say it. I have this one. Let me see if I can hold all of these. So see, like, I feel like this one is like in between these two. Does that make sense? I hope so. And then also like, I need to clean these off because you can see like the oil from my face settling in those. So I bought this, I think I like this so far. I also think that I realized that like my bronzer always looks muddy because I use like, when I try to contour, I use like a little brush. I don't even know what brush I used yesterday. Ooh, I wanna say this one, I don't know, but like, I feel like if I use a darker brush, it doesn't look as bad because I feel like when it's, I don't know how to explain it. Like sometimes my bronzer just looks like very muddy and I think it's because I don't really know what I'm doing, number one. But number two, because I don't apply it right. So, so far I like this, I liked it yesterday, but then I kind of did this one first because I forgot I had this. So I don't know, I need to give it another try. But so far, I like this. I'll put a link down below as well. And then I bought this Smashbox setting spray. I was gonna buy the, the primer to go with this too, but the girl said she didn't like that primer. She said it had too much silicone in it. She didn't like it. So I got the setting spray. Yesterday, I just used my Urban Decay, like my old Facebook again though. So haven't used this yet. You keep it updated if you want. What else did I buy? Oh, I bought this. So these are like Donnit, Donnit, Dr. Dennis Gross. So I've been using these. I think I've already used it maybe like five times. This came with 30 plus five bonus. So how this looks is that like, it looks like this. And what you do is you use one, use one to exfoliate and smooth and then you use the second one like two, three minutes later for like neutralizing, to like kind of get the acid off your face. So I've been using these. As y'all can see, my skin is crazy. Don't know. It's like my skin is so smooth though. I'm not explaining it. I got another, I'm over it. 
But like my skin is like smooth. Like when I put my makeup on yesterday, my skin is so smooth. But like it's breaking out like crazy. I also wonder if that's because like I've been switching up my routine. So like I used to use Epiduo. My insurance that I have now, Epiduo was gonna be too expensive. So I had wrote my doctor before I left her. And she was just saying that I could just buy different myself like so i bought this different gel and then just use like whatever benzo peroxide i wanted to use so i already had this so i've been using these together so maybe that's why my skin has been like purging because i think this has a higher like concentration of epiduo so maybe my skin is purging we'll see as time goes on but these scars are crazy but my skin is like super smooth so i don't know how to explain it but yeah so i bought these two as well what else did i buy oh i got a new foundation remember i was telling y'all that my like um I was using the NARS Natural Radiant or whatever, and it was, I hope that dryer is not too loud, y'all. But, so I was using the NARS Natural Radiant and it broke. So I went ahead and bought the Born This Way Matte Foundation. I want to try the new NARS foundation now too, though. But I bought this in the color Sam. Um, I think it's definitely my color, but it kind of washes me out. But it works out because I bronze my face so much. I kind of needed to do like something that was like lighter because if not, I would look super orange like I did when I was wearing the Tahoe. So I like this foundation. It went on super smooth. It was like very like you buildable. So yeah, I like this for sure. Did I buy anything else I want to show y'all? Oh, I bought this. Why is this? Okay. I bought, I bought a new um, blush too I wanted to show y'all. I know it's in here. I didn't use it yesterday, though, but I know it's in here. I want to show y'all that, too, because she said, oh, here it is. She said that this was, like, a good, I haven't even opened it yet. Let me open it. This is, like, a good blush because I don't like red blushes. I like peach, orange, like, more so even, like, brown blushes, if that makes sense. So, I bought this from Sephora. It's the color Fascinated, if you guys can see. So, I bought this from Sephora. Okay. Also, I had to get my nails taken off. Well, I wanted to take them off anyways, but one of my nails grew a fungus up under it. I can insert like a video to show you guys. Kind of disgusting. But FYI, if your nail like is about to break and you start like getting a lot of water up under it, you need to take your nails off because my nails definitely grew a fungus. Side note, but yeah, here's the blush. It's kind of like, it, it probably looks different on camera because even in different lights, it looks different, but it's definitely orange. It's like super orange. So, haven't used it yet, we'll try that. I'm trying to see, oh, also, I bought this from, what is that store? Neustrom, maybe? I don't remember, either way, I bought this perfume, um, Tom Ford Soleil Mige, I think is how you said it. I had this in a sample for a while as well. I love this, this is definitely like fall, winter though, but it's like also unisex, I believe. It just smells really good, I don't even know how to describe it. But this is it that let me just look in here and make sure there's nothing else i wanted to show you guys no i think that's it i think that's everything i bought so yeah i need to clean this bathroom now so i'm gonna play some music for you guys while i clean the bathroom then i'm finally gonna go grocery shopping i think i don't know we'll see so yeah oh and then one more thing i forgot i wanted to show you guys this laneige water bank eye gel so i bought this as well janet bought this too so you guys can see i don't have the box either but so you can open it up, it looks like this. And it's by Laneige. Like this is why you always see like people using that lip mask. This is by the same brand. But so I bought this, like three people recommended it. It says cooling eye awakener, instantly soothes tired looking skin around the eyes with a surge of lightweight moisture to reveal younger looking eyes. I used it this morning, you guys tell me. I, look, I don't know because Janet doesn't like it. Janet says she's probably taking it back because she says she thinks it makes her look more tired. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Y'all tell me. But yeah, this is the other thing that I bought that I wanted to show you guys. So, yeah, now let me clean up.
definitely forgot I need to clean my makeup brushes. So now I'm cleaning my entire sink and my and my mirror. <laughs> and now I need to clean my makeup brushes. Let that sit in the bathtub for a while because yeah. So let that sit in the bathtub. I put common in there, FYI. Um oh, I need to sweep. Okay, let me sweep. No, let me wait. I wanna wait. I wanna come back into the bathroom in a second because I actually want to I actually want to go to the um my like mailboxes and get my packages and stuff so I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you guys everything I bought and I'm going to try to like start putting this table together too do all of that my goal is to like get everything that's apartment together semi together and then go grocery shopping and then come home and like at least try to rest it's like 118 so at least be done by four hopefully is my plan this apartment is not big so it shouldn't be hard but yeah let me go get the packages come back show you guys what I got I don't even remember what I bought and I just bought this stuff this is all from Amazon. I believe it's all apartment stuff. I'm pretty sure it's all apartment stuff. So let's see. So, oh, okay. So I bought my coffee table, but I had bought like these books to put on top. So I'm pretty sure I'm too far away. But this is Beautifully Organized, A Guide to Function and Style in Your Home by Nikki Boyd. Uh, yeah, just a coffee table look. Of course, you know, I'm trying to do like this all white in my apartment, so I thought it was cute. So I got this. And I also bought this. It's called Steal the Slow Home by Natalie Walton. Another coffee table book. Cute, cute. And then I got another, another white book called For the Love of White. I don't know if I like the cover on this one, but what I was doing, I was looking to make sure that the books also had like, that they were actually white. So I'll probably honestly take this off and just do the book like this. But yeah, For the Love of White by Chrissy Rucker is this book. So I got three coffee table books. Then I got this, let's see what this is. Like my, um, I bought like two little white things on top of the coffee table books. Let's see if that's what this is. These are so, y'all, these are so little. Let's see. <laughs> this is why I need nails. Okay, so. Cute, <laughs> small, cute, fun. <laughs> Hold on. 
And then this comes with it too. I guess it's like mini bases. I knew they were gonna be small, but not this small. I mean, but, I mean, I don't know, we'll see. So that's that. Let's put that over there. Then let's see what this one is. This one's super light. Oh, this is the other, um, so I had bought that, like the, the what, what is this? I don't know. I had bought another one of these baskets though because I bought another fake plant because y'all know I'm scared of real plants. I don't know if I said that before, but real plants like terrify me. I don't know why. But I bought another one of these because I bought a birds of paradise plant or whatever to put in the corner over there by my couch. So that's for this. It's gonna go in there because I have like another basket on the other side. I'm trying not to show you guys my apartment yet because number one, it's not done. But number two, because I want to give you guys like a full apartment tour. So yeah, this is just a basket. It comes like this and then you literally just like pull it and it lifts up. And then you put the, the plant inside of here. So I got one of these, another one of these. So I'll put that in there when it comes. I think it's coming, what is it like the seventh, like the end of this week, I wanna say. So that's that. Put that over there. And I got another package. Right there. We're just gonna put, I'm just gonna put you right back in there. 
these. I got these from somebody off of Facebook Marketplace, FYI. I did not buy these offline or anything or from a store. Somebody on Facebook Marketplace makes these herself. Probably means that I could have made it myself too, but I already bought it now. So just fuck this out. I don't know, what do y'all think? Yes, no, maybe so. Don't say no because I can't do anything about it if you don't. So just tell me yes. <laughs> just, say, just say you like it at this point. Because what can I do? Like right here on Facebook Marketplace and send them back? I broke that too. Let me just leave this alone because now I'm just breaking stuff. Okay, and then my thought process to put it like on the side of my bed. Do I like that now? I don't know. So like, just put it like on the side right here. I'm gonna put the cable box up, obviously, all that. But like, <laughs> like I said, I'm washing my sheets, so ignore my bed. But like, just like that, and then picture. Hmm. 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 I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. Okay, so I don't know about the pompous thing. I don't know, it's cute though. I feel like it's just because my bed isn't made. Like see how I still have like all these pillows right here and stuff too? All these pillows are the pillows from my bed. They just take tags off and stuff. Like why does, I wanna get everything together, I promise. But, so yeah, I need to, this is all the stuff from my bed. Need to take the sheets off my bed. I wash in my like white clothes first and then I'm gonna wash my sheets and my comforter, my pillows. I use, so like I have regular pillows like the actual four regular pillows, but the pillows I sleep on, I hide under my bed and I sleep on um, satin pillowcases because of my hair or whatever. But yeah, I need, I need to put this up and I need to hang that up. I did not mean to throw that on the floor. I bought this. Oh, I bought other stuff too while we're here. I bought some screen protectors from Ross. It's like a dashboard car mount. I bought this from Ross as well, $6.99. $4.99, how many cases is, how many um, screen protectors is in here? Is it just one? I paid $5 for one screen protector. Was that okay. Oh my, oh my God, I still haven't seen my boss and my mentor. Let me put these in my car, because at this point, this is ridiculous. Like I need to send them their gifts and their cars and stuff. And I know she watches my videos. I promise I'm sending these. That is like so, I'm, I'm horrible, like literally horrible. Those are gonna go in my car when I go to the grocery store, y'all. Um, this is my receipt from Ross. I bought this from, I'm so lazy. So I bought this from Ross. It was already broke. I paid $20 for this, but I needed like a, like a tray to eat on, like somewhere to work and it was big, so I liked it. And I had to do a video and I needed this, so I just took the plastic off the top and then didn't take the plastic off the bottom. <laughs> y'all, this is ridiculous. Let me tell you, stop being lazy. But okay. So let me put this up and then we're gonna to put together this coffee table. So, but how do I even take this plastic off? Now that I'm here. Okay. Okay. I'll put it down below. I don't know if I like it, honestly, though, just because of the material. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's like wood, wood. And that's why I really didn't like that desk either. I I feel like when stuff is like that high gloss or polished wood or whatever, it looks better. But I don't know. We'll see how it looks. We shall see. Also kind of wanted a bigger rug, but didn't want to pay for a bigger rug. So this is the rug we have. Let's see, so I got one piece of glass out. I don't think I need tools for this. From my understanding, it should come with everything I need, so let's see. So, this is the size of the pencil. If I do need tools, it just isn't happening today, so. I need 
But when I read, like, you know how you read people's reviews on Amazon? They said I didn't need tools. They may have lied to me. towards anyone anything like that it's just something i've been thinking about i've been having like conversations with different people and just like i don't even know how to start i might cut this part out if not you guys are going to hear this but i just feel like you know when you start like accomplishing certain things in life or you start like working towards certain things in life you'll notice that like not saying it's a good thing to like change up or switch up or think you're better than people, anything like that. No, obviously not, never. But I will say that like some people just can't go with you where you're going. Like they really can't, they can't go. Like, and a lot of times I don't think we realize that like, this is gonna get real preachy, but whatever. Like sometimes you'll keep wondering like, why am I not accomplishing this? Or why is this not happening? Or why is this moving so slow? Or like, I'm putting in all this work why is this not happening for me? Well, of course, everything is, you know, on God's time. But also, I strongly believe that, like, sometimes God is like, I'm not giving you that until you do everything else I ask you to do. And if one of those things is letting somebody or letting something go and you haven't done that yet, you know, maybe that's why things aren't happening. Obviously, I'm not, you know, super Christian. <laughs> I'm a Christian, but I don't go to church every Sunday, so I can't try to preach to anybody, obviously. My life is not perfect. But I'm just saying, like, I will definitely say that like, I just really think people, people just can't go with you everywhere you're going. I, everybody cannot go. Everybody cannot get on the, the art. Everybody cannot. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to explain it y'all, but I just want to say that like, I hope that if anybody's in a situation that is making them sad every day, making them uncomfortable every day, making them question themselves, making them feel like they're not worthy, if you're around people, this can be a relationship, family, friends, whomever. If you're in a situation where you have to question everything about somebody, question everything that's going on, you just need to kind of sit back and like reevaluate some things, I would say, because obviously it's not up to other people to make you happy. You have to have you have to be happy yourself first, obviously. I think we know that. But some people just drain you. Some things just drain you. And it's easier said than done, obviously, but sometimes you just really gotta let people go. You gotta let things go. Like you can't just keep, what is the, what's the quote? Like the definition of insanity is doing something over and over again, expecting different results. I don't know. I just think that also another thing is too, I think that like, and I don't know, when I say I think and people, I'm really talking about myself, but like, <clears throat> I think like a lot of times, I think of multiple things. Also, I watched this crew net. If you guys can see, washed it, dried it, still looks brand new. So, so you guys know. But I think a lot of times in life, like we want things to be what they're not. We want people to be who they're not. And you kind of just drive yourself crazy, trying to change that person, trying to change these things. And sometimes you just have to sit back and like change yourself. You just have to change the way you interact with those people, the way you interact with those things. You have to just really sit back and be like, okay, 
yeah, they're this, 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 and that, but I keep allowing them to be this, 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 and that to me. So when am I going to want more for myself? When am I going to put in the work for myself? You know, because I think also we can get in this pattern of just like work, 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 and accomplish this and accomplish that. But like, I don't think you can truly be happy with material things until you're happy inside. I don't think you can truly be happy in general until you find happiness within yourself. And a lot of times finding that happiness within yourself is getting rid of things and people that contribute to you not being happy. I think also a lot of people expect like when they start making all these moves and doing all this stuff and oh, I'm going to law school and oh, I did this. And, oh, I just came into this amount of money and oh, I opened up this business. Oh, I did that. You expect people to be happy for you. You would, you would be like, okay, these are my friends. This is my boyfriend. This is my husband. This is my wife. This is my, my mom, my dad, whoever. Why are they not happy for me? Sometimes people just won't be happy for you because they're not happy for themselves. It's nothing about you. It has nothing to do with you. Sometimes people literally are just kind of miserable on the inside and they do a good, you know, they have a good facade. They fool people. But if you know them, you know, you know? So also, y'all, a lot of times your biggest supporters will be people you don't know. People you've never heard from. People you've never met in your real life they'll be your biggest supporter. I'm rambling, but I know somebody feels me. Somebody does. All I'm saying is that like, keep people around you that make you happy. Keep people around you that put you in good spirits. Keep people around you that check you when you need to be checked though. Keep people around you that just like, you know, want the best for you and want the best for themselves too. Because a lot of times people like, I don't know. I'm like, do you even, do you even care about yourself? So how can you care about me? How is that possible? How can you care about me if I can't even tell you care about yourself? Because the way you're out here moving, I don't even think you care about you. So how could it be possible that you could care about me? It's not, it's really not. So yeah, I think happiness encompasses a lot of things. So if you feel like you're in a situation where you feel stuck, where you feel like you don't know what's going on, it's like, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, or I was doing this, or I felt like this now, and I just don't know. And I, you just have like a weird feeling like just sit back, like sit on your bed and just like think one day, like, what is it? Am I around somebody when I feel like that? Am I doing the same thing when I feel like that? Like, what do I need to do to truly be happy? Don't obviously, you know, be happy at the expense of others in terms of like hurting people. Like don't start going around doing that. But like, I think everybody deserves to be like truly happy. And I just, I wish that on everybody. I wish that on all my friends. I wish that everybody just like finds people and I don't care like who those people are, what relationship that is to you, but just like finds like a circle that like really makes you happy. And most of the time your circle is going to be small in those situations, but it is what it is. As you get older, you'll realize like everybody is just not meant to get on the boat. Like they're just not. So yeah, let me put these clothes up. <laughs> that was Latasia's TED Talk sermon. I don't even know what to call it for the day, but I just feel like if anybody out here is like, Feeling weird, you just, you, you know, you're like uneasy about things, uneasy about people. Just start evaluating and start eliminating sometimes. But also check yourself too, because it might be you. You might be the person that everybody is like, mm -mm. <laughs> So yeah, let me put these clothes up for real and then we're gonna go to the grocery store. So I was not waiting in a line at Whole Foods. That was not happening. I was gonna go to Ralph's. I don't feel like doing that either, honestly. <laughs> Because I said I wanted to be done with stuff by four. It's like almost four now. So I'm in CVS. I realized I had took out a steak to cook anyways. So I'm gonna cook my steak for today. Give me some groceries delivered because I have like a free trial with Instacart. Give me some water out of here, a few snacks out of here, stuff like that until my groceries get here. And yeah, that's it. Like, it's just hot outside, y'all. It's like 100 degrees. I had to change my clothes. Like I have on a crop top and shorts because it's like too hot outside. So yeah, let me get my stuff out of here and then I'll talk to y'all when I get back to my apartment. So I'm back home. The air is like on full blast, so you probably can barely hear me. But <laughs> I just got like two waters. I completely ran out of water. Like I don't have anything left at all. Then I got some sour patch kids. Um, I think I'm about to cook. So, well now I think, I know I'm about to cook. I'm not gonna show you guys me cooking though because show you guys me cooking though just because you know when you cook 
when you click on the internet, people you just never know. So I'm probably gonna end the vlog now. But yeah, I'm about to kill it. So I had some steak that I had bought from Ralph's. And then I have some green beans. I don't know if I got these from Whole Foods or not. Rouse is just like a Kroger if you're like down south and you have no idea. I didn't know that either. Kroger and Rouse are like the same thing. I have some corn and I have some squash too. I don't know what I'm gonna, I'm trying to figure out like what's still good. I don't know, this is like all the food I already have though. So I'm about to order my groceries from Instacart. Have those delivered. Drink some water because it's hot outside. Cook my food. And then probably, I'll probably edit the video you guys are gonna see on Thursday. And then, like, just relax. It's probably really what I'm about to do. Like, just literally relax. Maybe why I haven't watched TV in so long. Like, I think I watched TV. Janet came over here on Friday, and we watched, um, what's that show? Married at First Sight or whatever on Hulu. So, that's all I've been watching. Well, that's all I've watched in, like, forever. So, yeah, probably about to watch some TV. That sounds fun to me. But, yeah, nothing really else to talk about in this vlog, guys. Like I said, it was just, like, a day in my life. Hope it wasn't too boring. But, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. And yeah, bye y'all.